Chris, you must be excited to get Daniel Pearce. What does he bring to your side? Um, well, look, his assets are certainly his, his pace and his ball-winning ability, but at the end of the day, he's a 26-year-old he's a player that's played 150 games of footy, so he fits into our list management model and, and the age and games experience we think we need to, to continue to improve. Do you see him as a midfielder, Chris? Is that what he brings to the group? It's certainly an option for us, yeah. He's played back recently for Port Adelaide and played it well, but we see the opportunity for him to be versatile, so there's, there's that option there, but certainly midfield forwards... Uh, is certainly something that the coaches will look closely at. And that pace, the, the fact that he turns left and the fact that he's a pretty good ball user, those um, significant factors in your keenness to get him? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, the age experience comes into it, but the ability for him to be able to perform regularly um, over an eight-year period means that we're getting a quality player in and, and through our discussions with him, he's obviously a quality person as well, and that's really important to our group. When did you first start looking at him and thinking he might be a player for the free Oh, look, we, really, the free agency period's been discussed for the last couple of years but um, so we've worked really hard this year on a number of number of things in regards to free agency we've spoken to a lot of managers about players who fall into that category but at the end of the day um, we've just worked closely with it over the last period of time and, and happy to secure him. Are you happy with what you've got now or will you look at any other free agencies? Oh well look free agency trade period has been extended this year so it's going to go on for a while so we'll continue to work through it. Um, you know, there'll be no rush for us at the moment. I think this was a really important step for the club um, and for the coaches to, for us to be able to secure Daniel. And um, from there, we'll just wait and see. Sharon Wellington, there was a lot of uh, rumours floating around that you were interested. Now, keep saying that you're not. Have you met with him, or uh, is he on the cards? Yeah, look, Sharon's certainly a player that falls into that bracket, and there, there are a, a number of players that fall into the bracket over the next month. So they're all players that are going to be considered and uh, we'll be sitting down with our list management committee over the over the next couple of weeks and continue to discuss it. Did you, you meet did. with him while he was in Perth? No, no. You looked at power forward options, obviously, with the, um, the Travis Coke cloak possibility. Are there other players on that radar for you? Yeah, look, there's no secret in regards to our list management model and, and the age of our players of uh, where there needs to be success, some succession planning. But history does show, too, that the... Uh, the key forwards have been at a club, have been drafted by that club and, and have been able to be retained by that club. So there's no doubt that we've looked at that and we'll continue to look at that. But um, at the end of the day, the national draft's still a key focus of where we want to get to. What about uh, Jamie Cripps? Uh, a bit of a pass there with Ross Lyon. Any chance he could be recruited? Oh, like I said, we could go through a number of players, but we'll be doing that over the next few weeks and, and we'll come to some decisions then. Will the club be fairly active in trade week? Um, look, at, yeah, it's, it's hard to say really. Our first step was certainly um, the deadline is tomorrow morning with, with Daniel. So our first step was to get that and to be able to do that is a really significant move for our football club. And um, look, will we be active or not active? Time will tell. Just to clarify, his deal uh, with Fremantle would be a two-year deal or a three-year deal, Chris? What's it's Daniel's. Daniel Pierce. Daniel's is a four-year deal. Four-year deal. Yep.